Hello and welcome back. Well, I've got several projects going on. Um, got uh, my chiller wall. It's running. It's working really good. Got some splashes on the sides yet I've got to take care of, but that's going to have to wait a little bit. Um, this is one of my grow tower prototypes. Started working on that today. And then my shade cloth. That's over there. It was supposed to be in next week, but it came today. So I'm going to jump on that tomorrow and start working on that. But I just kind of finished up on the prototype here. Um, what I did, I used uh, some 4-inch PVC, just like what a lot of people have used. Um, my holes, instead of cutting slits across them, what I did was um, used a 1-inch hole saw and just on my jig here I've got them marked out where each one's supposed to be rotate that and I just drill them and then set those heat them up and what I used was a paint peeler paint gun, it's a heat gun for filling paint off the house and stuff like that that worked great so I just heated it up used an inch and a half PVC just cut it at a 45 degree angle stuck it in there shoved it in Hold it for a little bit, threw a wet rag on it, and went to the next hole. It works slick. And these holes are they're fitting good. Two inch net pots slide right in there. Let me stand it up and I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So this is a three foot test section. My other ones I make will be a five foot, but I'm gonna finish this and put it over into my test tank and run some water through it and see how it uh, performs. Getting water to them has always been an issue. As you can see how those pushed in, made real nice bevels on those. Net pots fit in there real good. And I just got to cut, uh, I got some media, you know, some of this stuff here. Gonna cut it and uh, put that in there. So we'll see how that works, and I'll set that in my test system and let that run while I'm working on other stuff here. So in the meantime, I've got uh, a shade cloth. I've got some pulleys, a bunch of paracord, because what I'm going to do is I'm setting this shade cloth on the inside of my greenhouse. Instead of running it on the outside and have to take it out every season, I'm going to put it up on the inside here. And by doing that, I knew I had to do something to get it stored for winter, and I didn't want to take it down. So I decided to do it in like a, like a curtain. And there are 10-foot sections, and coming down the side here will be 12-foot. So it'll start right about here, and this section will run up to there. So there will be a 10-foot piece here that will be a curtain. And then there will be a separate section in the center that runs from there over to there. And those I'll be able to pull back also. You know, because a lot of times we get weeks here that we'll have cloudy days. And, well, we've got enough shade, so I just I can leave them open, get more sunlight in there, what sunlight there is, help the plants grow better. So, And I've got uh, well, some 10-foot conduit, half-inch. I'm going to use that down along the bottom, just tie it on there, and that will add a little weight to it and keep it tight across there. And then do the same thing on this and then hook up my pulleys. So, got to figure out how that's all going to work out, but I'll work on that tomorrow and uh, I'll shoot a video and try to give you an idea of that. So, that's what I've got for now. So, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. <coughs> oh, well. It's upside down. <laughs> That's better.